Okay, so this is uh, part three of my making salts series. Okay, so making salts, part three. Okay, and we're going to do something called a precipitation. Okay, and we do this if we have uh, an insoluble salt. Okay, so an example of a reaction that uh, gives you an insoluble salt. Okay, you don't have to know any of these, okay, but you do have to, have to work it out once you've looked at the equation. If you take a chemical called lead nitrate, okay, PBNO3, AQ tells you that it's a solution. Okay, if you react that with sodium chloride, and the AQ tells you it's an aqueous solution, which means it dissolves in water. If you got those two things together, okay, then you make lead chloride, okay, and the uh, state symbol there would be an S. So that's telling you that this stuff here is not soluble in water. Okay, so it's telling you that you've, what you've done in this reaction is you've formed a solid. Okay, you make another byproduct which we're not going to be as interested in which is the sodium nitrate, okay, and then AQ tells you that that is soluble in solution, okay. So you start off with a solution, a solution, it forms a solid, and something that's also in solution, okay. So the point of this method is how do we get this, okay, how do we get this solid away from all these things, okay. So let's just put a box, my title, to separate that bit off, okay. So you start off with a beaker, okay, it doesn't matter which way around you do this, and inside that beaker you will put your lead nitrate AQ, aqueous water soluble solution, okay. You then want a stirring rod, okay, which we can draw like that, and into that mixture, okay, we're going to pour in the sodium chloride solution. Okay, so that's our sodium chloride solution, that's our lead nitrate solution, and we're going to take this mixture, this solution, and pour it into this solution. Okay, and then we're going to use our stirring rod to give it a good old stir. Okay, and what we're going to end up with then is in our beaker now, okay, we'll have slightly more volume because we've added um, another liquid to it. And in that solution, we will then have lots of bits of solid, okay, which I'm doing as blue dots, okay, you might not be able to see they're blue at the moment, but you will a bit later, okay, we'll have lots of blue dots, okay, and what that's called is a precipitate, okay, and in this uh, example of the precipitate is the PB. Cl2, which is a solid. Okay, so that's what the solid bit is. But also in there, we're going to have all the things that are soluble in water. Okay, so because we have not, you don't have to measure out exactly equal amounts of each of these. Okay, because it doesn't matter, because we're only interested in the things that are solid. So it also in this solution. Okay, there's going to be a bit of potentially a bit of PbNO3. AQ, so there'll be some of that in there, okay, in the solution. There will potentially also be a bit of sodium chloride, okay, and there will definitely be some of the sodium nitrate, okay, because that's the byproduct that we formed, okay, so Na3 AQ. So the job now is to separate the solid from the solution, okay, and the way you do that is to do a filtration. Okay, so to do a filtration, you need a funnel, a filter paper, and a conical flask. Okay, and then you take this whole mixture okay, and you pour it into the top of your filter. Okay, and what you'll get left with then is all the bits of solid. Okay, all the blue stuff that we want is going to be left 
in the top of our filter paper, okay, and then what's going to drip through is all the things that we don't want. Okay, so in this example, what's down the bottom here is, is the waste, right, and that can go down the sink. We're not interested in that bit at all. And what's going to be in there is all these things, okay? So all of the solutions, any bits of silver nitrate, any bits of sodium chloride, and any bits of sodium nitrate, right, that either were left over from the reaction or by the things they don't want, they're now been separated, okay? And what we're left with now then is our solid um, that we do want, okay? So then we take that solid, okay, and we tip it out into a dish, Ah, no, sorry, another step. Don't let me forget a step here. What we're going to have up here, though, is our solid that is um, wet still, but because it's going to be wet with the solution that was down here, there will still be a little bit of that. So if we were to dry this now, we'd get mostly what we want, the uh, lead chloride, but some of the solution that's in there will contaminate it later. So what you have to do at this stage, then, is wash it, with some water. So you just get a wash bottle of water, okay, and you squirt a bit of water on there, okay, and you wash it with water, and that's going to be to rinse off any uh, of your soluble impurities, okay. So that's that step here, is you wash it, and the reason to do that is to rinse off any soluble impurities. Okay, you then take your blue solid, okay, and at this point you can tip it out into a dish. Okay, so here we'll have a dish with all our solid in it. Okay, at this stage though, this will be wet. Okay, so we'll have, so in here, this is our PbCl2. It's a solid, okay, but it's described as, as wet. Okay, there's still going to be some water on it, okay. In there. So the last step to do is to put it in the oven, okay, approximately 100 degrees C, okay, that's going to evaporate any water, okay, and then what you're left with is a nice dry sample What you're left with over here is your lead chloride as a solid. Okay, but this time it is dry. Okay, so make it help. So quick recap for you then. So you add the two solutions together, you stir them around, you end up with a precipitate, which you filter to get rid of. So you keep the solid, you get rid of all the soluble things that you don't want, you give it a quick rinse with water. To wash away any last bits of solution that might be left on the solid, you then take your solid, that's your solid salt that's wet, stick it in an oven 100 degrees to give you a nice bit of dry solid. Okay, so that's making salts part three if you've got a precipitate. Done.